hello everyone so today we are going to discuss about your history of entomology in india particularly in india what is the history of our entomology okay two topics will be there history of different periods different type of periods will be there in that what is the uh, history then who are the different scientists related to uh, this entomology in government of india one by one we will discuss apart from this one more part is there what are the different organization and all for that i will make a separate video for that so you can watch it on that uh, and for the uh, for the time being uh, we will discuss these two things so here you can see the history of entomology in india can be divided into four distinct periods what are those first one is your ancient india second one is your 18th century 19th century and 20th century so like this what will happen four uh, subgroups are there and one by one we will discuss okay so at first coming to your ancient india okay after that we'll go for 18th century so you see here some basic important things are there like uh, you see this use of uh, lac okay in uh, hindi and odia we can tell lakho and all honey mohu yes or no in silk that resum yes or no so these were from the uh, what uh, our ancient went there they were using that one okay like you can see this uh, use of honey okay that was the mention in case of veda okay quran ramayan everywhere their mention has been there and it has been found in different ancient books like your rig vedas okay they have mentioned this honey as the choicest food of god yes or no that panchamrut and all similarly this atharva veda they have gives a brief account on what your lac lac insect okay the lac insect and usefulness value of lac in mahabharata if you try to remember Uh, that pandavas uh, were there inside uh, this laksha griha yes or no which kauravas were thinking of burning that one uh, with them but anyhow they have escaped from that so that is what your laksha griha okay it is already mentioned in our mahabharata our uh, ancient things so silk production also believed to have originated in china nearly 5000 years ago and slowly spread to india there is some uh, mention like an indian prince uh, sends a gift of silk cloth to a persian ruler in uh, 3870 bc indicating that indians were familiar with the rearing of silk worm at that time here sun means definitely it was there in our country similarly in ancient scripts like your ramayana mahabharata some of the terms were used okay related to insect what are those pipilika ant yes or no ha huh? ant pipilika then grasshopper they were known to be patanga okay honey bees they were known to be madhumakshika till now you are using the term termite queen they were known as your umba copilica okay so these are the some of the mention this is the termite queen okay and these are the worker and all anyway we will discuss in the orders leave those things the reference to insects like ant bees beetle flies were found in sanskrit dictionary what is that your amarkosa okay and in books like arthashastra chanakya sutra okay there this insect name has been mentioned similarly in atharvaveda concerning the control of pest infesting crops human and animals they were atharvaveda that is what for your management of the insect how to reduce that all these indicate that ancient india was well acquainted with the insect these are the mentions so if you see what are the important things which may come in the exam you see these things may come in the exam okay only these things may come in the exam other things are important but you see from exam point of view you cannot tell that is important this is also also important thing but still if you think about entomology not that much important but general knowledge that is right lac the use of lac was there in mahabharat now coming to your second one that is your 18th century here what happens some of the important points are there very very important which comes in the exam that's why i'm telling you uh, multiple times okay so you see the literature and entomology is scanty where in 17th century but 18th century that means uh, beginning of 18th or uh, end of 17th century what happened this uh, entomology things has been highly encouraged the earliest record of indian insect is that of carl linnaeus very very important carl linnaeus okay who included 28 species how much 28 species belonging to 12 insect 12 insect were there having 28 species in his 10th edition of systema nature very very important he has included 28 species of 12 insect in his 10th edition of systema nature 10th edition of systema nature when it came 1758 everything is important 
the entomology scientist is called in as how many insect he has included 12 having 20 different species where he has mentioned these things in his 10th edition of system of nature that is uh, what published in your 1758 very very important i am telling very very important this may come in the exam from historical aspects okay then first regular work on indian insect on scientific line was initiated by whom your jg koenig okay dr john gerard koenig uh, this is not important okay he collected in that means this year is not important he is important but this year is not important he collected insect of coromandel coast and sent to carlinas okay and jesse fabricius john christian fabricius for identification fabricius named this red cotton this insect huh, red cotton bug okay according to the name of your koinig that is uh, that how he has uh, given that scientific name genus is disdercus disdercus huh? okay disdercus and this species is your koinig okay according to the name of john gerard koinig he has given that particular scientific name he also published a special account of the termites of tanjabur district not that much important this is important huh? red cotton bog and this scientist called as jg gerard and jesse fabricius these are all important now coming to this jesse fabricius things those are uh, regarding uh, koinig now coming to jesse fabricius he received a large number of insect collection from some uh, christian missionaries and officials of east india company and included this is important 1000 number of insect species 1000 number of insect species he has included where in his publication entomologia systematica very very important entomologia systematica okay he has included how many insect species 1000 insect species he has included very very important okay this is also important you see what is this one that is your the asiatic society of bengal was first uh, scientific so this is the first scientific society of india okay which one the asiatic society of bengal established at where kolkata now kolkata in 1785 you see that is 1758 which one 10th edition of system of nature this is 1785 that is 58 this is 85 getting my point or not you see this one huh? 58 this is your 85 don't get confused the society encouraged insect collection and exhibition of indian insect and published entomological literatures huh? this one very very important when it is established and where it is present both are important now okay. coming to the third one that is your 19th century okay so here you see uh, some of the important things are there like buchanan he has uh, the, he was a traveler he wrote on the cultivation of lac in india and on sericulture in some parts of south india very very important these are economic entomological things he has written huh buchanan Denovan uh, published natural history of insect which was the first contribution of insect of asia and was revised in 1842 by westwood these are not that much important still these books are important who has written and all okay then the publication of the indian museum notes was started in 1889 and five volume of were published from this notes okay between in between 1889 to 1903 not that much essential these are the monumental publication in economic entomology and may even say to constitute the birth of applied entomology in india not that much important still if uh, you are interested in entomology means you can remember not from the basic course point of view this is important the bombay natural history okay that society was founded in 1883 very very important definitely one question you will get the bombay natural history society founded in which year 1883 and since 1886 with the publication of the first issue of the journal of what of this society that is your journal of the bombay natural history society numerous contribution has been there on this insect entomology okay what is a uh, question uh, question point of view what is important the bombay natural history society was established at bombay no doubt founded in 1883 that may come in the exam that is most important the publication of the fauna british indian series was started by the government of india from london in 1892 not that much important uh, and the first of the series being on or the moth fauna of india anyway this is not that much important but this is very very important okay now coming to the your fourth one that is your 20th century huh here so many points will be there which are very very important so here you can see uh, some of these entomologists were there 
like who is the first entomologist to comment of india then who is the second if that is second who is the first imperial entomologist those things somewhat you have to understand here so if you see this one this leonel de lainsville he was appointed as the first entomologist to comment of india in 1901 this is very very important you see it may come in the exam okay who is the first entomologist to comment of india your leonel de lainsville was the first entomologist to comment of india in which year he was appointed in 1901 at that time that headquarter was at indian museum kolkata now it is kolkata okay at that time uh, the headquarter was there kolkata okay after this nice will what happen your harold maxwell lefroy he came he is done so much work in our entomology department in india okay he was appointed as the entomologist to government of india second entomologist to government of india in which year that is your 1903 okay after your nice will Uh, and uh, posted at Surat at, at first, okay, especially for the study of cotton paste. But in 1905, what happened? Due to this IRI, at that time it was Imperial. Now it is Indian. Yes or no? Huh? Indian Agricultural Research Institute. At that time it was Imperial. Okay, was established at Pusa Bihar. So then what happened? This Maxwell Lefroy, he was appointed as the first Imperial entomologist. he was a second entomologist but first imperial entomologist to government of india where the headquarter was at your what pusa bihar okay and he has also written uh, two books that is your indian insect li- uh, in uh, insect life this one okay and indian insect paste okay this book this book this is the new one but it was the old one and this is the indian insect paste by your maxwell lefroy ha huh? hm lefroy okay very very important this two book kindly remember it may come in the exam then after this uh, lefroy what happened tb fletcher came he succeeded hm lefroy as imperial entomologist uh, that means he is the third entomologist but second imperial entomologist to government of india appointed in 1913 he devoted his attention mainly to insect taxonomy he has worked on that and built up an excellent library and a valuable insect collection particularly of order lepidoptera moth and butterfly he also started the publication of this uh, the catalog of indian insect this one you see catalog of indian insect he has started that one published that one and he has also organized five all indian entomological meeting where at pusa bihar in between 1915 to 23 here you can see within 8 uh, years he has conducted all india entomological meetings five times During his time, government of Madras made extensive observations on this uh, horticultural and agricultural paste, and he has uh, written one book on that. That is your some South Indian insects. Very very important. You see, all are very very important. These points are very very important. Please remember. So, if you see this uh, different entomologist to government of India, you see. First was your Lionel de Nicefile. He was the first entomologist to government of India, appointed in 1901, and it was uh, succeeded by whom? Your H. M. Lefroy. He was the second entomologist to government of India, but he is regarded as what your first imperial entomologist to government of India. His tenure was from 1903 to 1912. His books are important. Okay, Indian insect life uh, and all. Okay, another one. Then uh, after him, what happened? T. B. Fletcher came. He was the third entomologist but second imperial entomologist to government of india okay from 1913 to 1934 in between what happened this m a hussain was also there uh, the imperial entomologist then h s prithi came and at that time uh, that imperial become what your indian it became then p v isaac came but after this what happened this post was uh, suspended Ministry of Agriculture came, then uh, different uh, other things like uh, Department of Entomology. Everything came under that. So this post was stopped. Okay, but apart from this, you see from Forest Entomology, E. P. Stebbing was appointed as the first Imperial Forest Entomologist to Government of India. Okay, nice villa, Lefroy, T. B. Fletcher, M. A. Hussain, H. S. Prithi, P. V. Isaac. Okay, these are the different entomologists to Government of Anything India. Come in the exam. Okay. then ep stebbing okay ep stebbing uh, he was appointed as the first imperial uh, forest entomologist you see first imperial entomologist means that is your lefroy but first imperial forest entomologist means that is your ep stebbing okay and with the establishment of fri forest research institute at dehradun 1906 
ओके हि पब्लीश बुक् अन् इंडियान फरेस्ट इनसेक्ट अफ इकोनोमिक इंपोर्टान्स अर्डर कोलिप्टेरा ओके दिस् इज अल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टाट पॉइंट इट मे कम इन द एक्जाम वेर व्हाट इज एफ आर आई वेर इट द हेड क्वाटर इज देर वेन इट इज एस्टाब्लीश एनिथिंग मे कम इन द एक्जाम ओके सो यू सी दिस इज अल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टाट प्लीज गो थ्रो दिस वन ओके This is very very important. We have discussed about Bombay Natural History Society. Now coming to Geological Survey of India. It was started in 1916 uh, in Indian Museum at Calcutta. Okay. The Entomological Society of India was established in 1938. Very very important. This one also with M. A. Hussain. This Muhammad Afzal Hussain is the founder president. He was the founder president. Okay of this uh, Entomological Society of India. The society started publication of its journal, Indian Journal of Entomology, in 1939. It came in 38. The society then the first journal published in 1939 with H. S. Prithi, ha, huh? Hemsing Prithi as its first chief editor. Okay, these are all important. This book you may not uh, remember, but all other things are very very important. Then Dr. S. Pradhan, he is considered as the father of modern applied entomology in India. More, you see, not father of entomology. He is the father of modern applied entomology in India only. Okay, he has developed the biometer. Why it is he is known as father? He has developed a biometer, a ready recorder for estimating the amount of development or the number of generation in any given period under any range of temperature fluctuation. What do you understood by this? He has developed one instrument which can estimate what in a specific time period in a specific temperature. What is the development of the insect or how many generation of the insect is completed? Okay. to measure that he has developed this biometer he has propounded the famous biotic theory on this uh, periodicity of the locust life cycle he has uh, just discovered the mode of action of ddt he was the first to visualize countries need for ipm and he has organized on international seminar on your integrated pest control in 1969 for this all above regions what happened he is known as your father of modern applied entomology in india now coming to the last one he is your professor as atwal he is considered as the father of modern bee keeping in india right father of modern bee keeping in india because he was the first one first scientist to successfully introduce apis mellifera into india you see it was european bees Okay, but what happened? He has introduced this Apis mellifera into India by crossing with Apis rana indica. There is a different, separate history. Leave that. But that's why what happened? He has regarded as the father of modern beekeeping in India. Dr. S. Pradhan, father of modern applied entomology. A. S. Atwal, father of modern beekeeping in India. Now coming to your history of entomology, some uh, summary will be there. Like uh, entomology, what is the meaning of that? Okay, entomon means insect. Entomology, you see, came from which word? Greek word where entomon means insect and logos means study. That means so how we can define? It is a branch of science that deals with the study of the insect. The word this insect again came from one Latin word. What is that? Your to cut into different segments. Okay, that is what your uh, what meaning of insect? Huh? To cut into. Okay. Very very important. Both are very very important. Insect belongs to the phylum Arthropoda, which is the biggest phylum of animal kingdom. An insect appeared three mil three fifty million years ago. Very very important. It may come in the exam. When insect appeared three fifty million years ago, much earlier than the human being, and on our earth only. Uh, what one lakh fifty thousand years ago, they are initially aquatic and later became terrestrial. There is uh, much variation in size, shape of the insect. Okay, that means you see uh, this uh, human being came one lakh fifty thousand years ago, but uh, before this three fifty million years ago, that insect has been what started appeared in our environment. First they were aquatic, then they became terrestrial. There will be much variation. Okay, everywhere they are there. They can be seen in crop plant garden. Wherever you go, they can be seen. Aristotle made investigation about flies on ivies and etc. and all. Okay, uh, these things we have discussed somewhat. Still, uh, we have to just go on uh, have overlook on this. Like Jesse Fabricius, he has made extensive study on Indian insect for the first time and classified insect into three orders based on the type of mouth parts. 
1758 uh, your Carl Linnaeus will come yes or no 28 species 12 insect okay where he has mentioned in his 10th edition of system of nature I already have told this Jejik uh, Koenig he started the first regular scientific work on Indian insect and supplied the insect specimen to systematics like your uh, systematist like Carl Linnaeus, Fabricius, Kramer, Dury. He was the person who was sending this insect for identification to different this systematist. Okay. Then 1782, Dr. Kerr published an account of lac insect. Okay, that's why the scientific name is uh, Keria Laka. Okay, 1840, Rev Ho published a paper on entomology of the Himalayas and India. Then 1893, Dr. Rothney, he published book Indian Ants. Okay, earliest record of biological pest of control, pest control in India. Okay, okay, you see white ants were there. They were attacking on these stationary items. Okay, how they were managed by this use of red ants. Okay. Then 1897, Sir Ronald Rose, an IMS officer in charge of a Madras uh, regiment station in Begumpet, that is Secunderabad, made the discovery of the malarial parasite in a dissected Anopheles mosquito. It may be important from general knowledge point of view, not that much from entomology. Still, important, huh? Sir Ronald Rose. Okay, this malaria uh, parasite, that is your Anopheles mosquito. Okay. Next one is your, uh, this one we have discussed, Lionel de Niceville in 1905-01, uh, okay, first entomologist, then Maxwell Lefroy came, okay, Indian insect first written by Maxwell Lefroy in 1906, in 1909 he has written Indian insect life, T.B. Fletcher came after that, Epistaving was there, okay, first entomologist published Indian first Institute of economic importance, Coleoptera, these things we have discussed, huh? this is important, 1937, a laboratory for storage paste was started where, in Hapur, Uttar Pradesh. These are all important. You see, these are important. 1937, entomology division was started in IRI New Delhi. It may come when this entomology department started in our IRI. That is your 1937. 38, society started. Yes or no? Establishment of, uh, you see, 38, society. 39, again, the Journal of Indian Entomological Society has been published. 1931, you see, this is important. LWO, Locust Warning Organization. Okay, it has been established. Jodhpur. Okay. Then 1940, T.V. Ramakrishnan, I wrote a book, Handbook of Economic Entomology for South India. This is also important. 1953, National Malarial uh, Eradication Program was launched. And then uh, 1960, The Desert Locust in India, monograph written by your Y. Ramachandra Rao. Then 1963, Textbook of Agricultural Entomology, H.S. Pruthi has written. 1968, General Entomology, written by your M.S. Mani. Then uh, 1969, Insect Pest of Crops, written by your S. Pradhan. 1957 elements of economic entomology that is written by your B. Basantraj Dafid and T. Kumara Swami. 1975 insect and mites of crops in India, MRG Kenair. Then 1976 general and applied entomology K. Kenair and Ananta Krishnan, B. Basantraj Dafid. These are the books written by different uh, people. But you see, all are not important. You, these are anyhow, I have told you these are important. Already we have discussed, those are important. Then when this uh, storage lab came, when uh, Department of Entomology started, when this society started, when this journal published, when LDO occurred, these are important. You see, all these books you may not have to remember. Try to remember. If not also, that is okay. But whatever the books I have told previously with pictures and all, that may come in the exam. So anyhow, we have discussed the historical aspects of your entomology. And in the next video, we will try to understand what are the different organizations related to entomology has been established with its headquarter. Okay. So I hope you understood. Somewhat it became lengthy one, but still. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.